Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break it down to bite-sized pieces. Today we've got some concerning news, but it does make a lot of sense. BlackRock sells dollar for Asian currencies into US vote. And what's going on here is they are essentially shorting the dollar. And this isn't a big deal unless you consider that BlackRock has almost 8 trillion assets under management also. MasterCard CEO says Bitcoin makes people scared. I have to disagree. I think what makes people scared is comments like that. Kraken CEO Jesse Powell rings out the truth and says DeFi scams should take their losses. And basically what he's saying is that they need to do the things to make them successful because over the last month or two, we've seen a lot of DeFi projects not only fail, but take a lot of people down with them. And we'll go over all that plus question of the day, which comes from Jake, which asks a pretty good question, which is if everybody moves from gold to Bitcoin, should I even really have any gold? So that's all coming up plus what's going on in the market. But first I wanna make two announcements. Uh, first up, uh, Voyager. I had CEO Steve Ehrlich on last week and he had said that changes were coming and that they were working diligently to be able to have cryptocurrency and certain digital assets be taken off the platform. And I just asked him, when's it gonna be Cardano? And he said, soon. And here we are today, announcement that Cardano is now, you are able to take Cardano off of Voyager platform. So this is just one of those things that he had said is gonna happen and it did. Also, he said that uh, the airdrop for XRP for the Spark token is also going to happen before the actual airdrop. So we will see how that happens. But he did say, give me two or three weeks. And uh, this is just one thing. So thank you, Steve, for uh, actually doing what you said you were going to do. Also, uh, before the big presidential election here in the United States, I'd like to get somebody from Votes on. Votes is a topic that we had covered about a month ago or so. And this is using blockchain to enable voting through your mobile app. And I think it's a fantastic concept so I've already tweeted out to these guys to see if they would come on but uh, if anybody knows anybody or knows something about them or just reach out to votes and say hey come on digital asset news because I'd really like to get them on here and see how that works with blockchain voting because I think it could be the future all right so the market so today it is October 27th it is uh, a 3 p.m. Uh, Texas time things are getting late but uh, a lot of things going on just getting to this so uh, what do we got well, uh, Bitcoin is doing fantastic. That's up 4.5%, uh, 16% for seven-day average, and uh, we're looking at 13.6. Uh, and the question that I had was, is Bitcoin going to break through 14K? I mean, if it is, that's that's like a real true bull run territory. Let's see if it actually happens. I think it can, but uh, who knows? Let me know you're in the comments section if you think it actually happened before this week ends, or do you think that all the traders and the whales are going to take a bunch of profits and push it below 13? That'll be interesting. Ethereum above 400, up 2.7%, I like that. Tether is uh, sitting at around 16 billion market cap, so that's great, I suppose. XRP at 25 cents, uh, market cap 11.3. Bitcoin Cash uh, is sliding into that number five spot at 1.7% up at 263. And if you notice something, uh, the five, six, and seven, and even really the eighth spot, I mean, there's really a, a, a minuscule amount really separating them all. They're all around that four billion market range, so. Uh, we'll see uh, as that fluctuates throughout the week. But uh, everything's up. Everything's up today. It's a good day. And what can I say? I mean, it, here's the thing. It's a good day for most people. For me, it's kind of a depressing day because this is one of those days where I was, I was kind of hoping that yesterday would continue with that downward slide so I can, could keep accumulating at very discounted prices. But uh, it wasn't meant to be. I mean, I still got a dollar cost average, but, uh, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping to do that <laughs> with a little less less price action but uh, hey it is what it is so uh, congratulations today for some people and other people like me is like man I because I know where this whole space is going so I'd like to buy it uh, cheaply as I can I've been doing it for the last you know three years so uh, I guess at some point I'm gonna have to just give in the fact that we are gonna hit a pretty big bull run I know it's weird to, to hear that like oh we're in a bull run how awful is that but you know I just see where it's going and I'd like to accumulate more but uh, it is what it is and what else we got? Anything really of a killer? Uniswap up 6.5%. That's good, I suppose. Uh, 3.6 for Celsius. Again, this is one of the ones I really want to pick up a lot of. But uh, I'll still pick it up. But uh, now I have to pay 3.6 premium. I guess if you look at it like that. 8.4% for compounds. So everything's you know fluctuating pretty well. And you know we're seeing in the top 10 uh, major green. So I like to see that. Anyhow, 
let's jump into uh, today's top stories. And before I jump into it, I just want to make mention that uh, Ledger is running a promotion right now. So if you don't have a Ledger or you want to pick up another Ledger, like I have four myself, because I don't like to you know keep everything in, in, in one place. I'm just weird like that. But uh, if you want to pick one up, uh, just enter in the promo code Digital Asset News, and it'll give you 20% off. Do all you got to do is once you're checking out the little discount code right here, just type in Digital Asset News. Click apply, and there you go, 20% off. So just wanted to let you know, and you can pick one up for on the cheap. All right, let's jump in today's big story. So BlackRock is uh, short the dollar. That's interesting, and uh, I'll tell you why. So this is the first report on Bloomberg, and it states the world's biggest money manager is shorting the dollar on expectations that unprecedented fiscal and monetary stimulus will prolong its losses regardless of who wins the U.S. election. This is true, 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 true. Uh, people ask me, well, you know, who do you think is going to win and how is it going to affect uh, the market? Crypto, digital assets, and, you know, I mean, to a lesser extent, the, the traditional market, which I don't really care about. And really, you have to look at it like this. It doesn't matter who win, uh, who wins in the short term. It, it's all about what's going to happen in the long term. And whoever wins, that will not matter. So really, if you look at it, if Donald Trump wins, then it'll give a little bit of an artificial bump and it'll still go down. If Biden wins, there'll be a little bit of a slough. It might come up a little bit, but it'll still go back down. So it doesn't matter the short term. I don't really care. The long term, you cannot keep quantitative easing. You cannot keep printing money. You cannot have a reduction in GDP. You cannot have so many small businesses closed and so many people out of work. And then to a lesser extent, uh, the market to keep pushing forward. There is a huge disconnect between the economy and the, the traditional markets. But at some point, the fiscal policy will eventually catch up. And again, so I don't care who really gets uh, elected. In the long, grand scheme of things, things are going to go down in the traditional sense. And that's why it is a great time to be in cryptocurrencies and digital assets. Because uh, just like uh, Shamath Paliabataya says, he goes, this is schmuck insurance. This is when, uh, for the traditional market, when it goes down, it's to, to be that hedge against all the chaos that is eventually going to happen. So again, doesn't matter who, who wins, it's all going to go the same way. Anyhow, BlackRock Inc. holds a modest short in the greenback against the likes of the Chinese yuan, Indian rupee, and Indonesian rupiah. I think I said it right, said uh, Naraj Seth, head of an Asian credit in Singapore. The three Asian nations are among those best positions to benefit from a weakening dollar as investors seek out higher yielding assets and growth. And you have to understand, uh, because they're showing the dollar, it doesn't mean they're going to make a ton of money. But however, that might not be true because uh, remember, uh, BlackRock, <laughs> they have almost a trillion assets under management, 7.43 as of 2019. So uh, maybe this year, maybe they hit that 8 trillion. So it's a lot of money, a lot of smart money uh, that could potentially be in there. So uh, there could be a windfall uh, with, with just the massiveness uh, as far as investments go. On Monday, BlackRock strategists downgraded their views on treasuries, surprise, on growing likelihood of significant fiscal expansion under a unified democratic government. So you have to understand, it's not so much that they're shorting uh, the dollar right here. I mean, that's that's just what, what they're doing. But what it is, is it, it signals the rest of the massive institutional foundations to go, look, BlackRock is doing this, so maybe they know a little bit of something that we don't. I mean, we've always suspected that, but they're really getting into it, so maybe we should. And then another institution says, hey, look what those guys are doing, then we should. And then it just becomes a reciprocating flywheel of information, and they just start to really gain momentum. Before you know it, uh, the dollar is really getting short or shorted, which leads to consequences down the road. So in my humble opinion, this is great. Because the worse that the dollar does, the better that Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, and digital assets will do. So if you have a huge entity such as BlackRock saying, dollar's going down, we're going to short it, you're going to see other people do the same thing. Other corporations. And then on and on we go. So how long do you think it is before all those corporations that are sitting on a pile of money goes, you know what? Uh, just like MicroStrategy and just like Square did, we should probably be getting into this game because uh, we are sitting on, as Michael Saylor calls it, a melting iceberg. So let me just think in the comments section. Let's move on. Next.